Hello, Alan Steady here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we will be going over the basic system setup. You should currently have your firewall connected to the WAN and the device connected to the LAN via the Ethernet cables provided with your UTM. On the device that is connected to the UTM via the LAN port, launch your browser and enter in the default HTTPS address of 192.168.0.1 followed by a colon and the default port number of 4444. Please note that you may need to adjust your local area connection property on the device you are using before being able to access the UTM's web admin. Accept the security notice by clicking OK or Yes. Also note that this will appear differently depending on the browser you are using, so in this we're going to go ahead and select Continue. Once you have bypassed the security notice, you will be prompted with the basic system setup. Here we'll enter in our host name, which we'll just go ahead and make firewalls.com, along with our company name, which we'll also go ahead and just make firewalls.com, along with the city in which the UTM will reside, and the country. And we'll also be able to define the admin password as well as the email address. Note that these settings must be made before the system can be used. Also, note that all fields must be filled in and the host name must not contain special characters or spaces. In other words, it should meet the criteria of a fully qualified domain name or FQDN and should be resolvable in public DNS. Next, we should take some time to review the end user license agreement and accept the terms. Note, if you are deploying this on behalf of a company or someone else, the end user should accept these terms. Lastly, select the button to perform basic system setup. 